everyone, today's video is a part two of the New York City food tour video. If you haven't watched part one, definitely go check that one out first before you watch this one because you do not want to miss any of the food. Really quickly before we start the video, I just wanted to mention that the Feed May May Glass Boba Straws are back in stock. Woo! I literally get questions about this every single day. So officially back in stock, click the link in the description if you're interested in checking it out. And yeah, without further ado, grab your snack, grab your boba. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and let's jump right into our New York City food tour part two. So we were gonna go around and get all these street foods in Flushing and it started snowing, which was crazy. As a Californian, that does not really happen. You guys, it's, it's snowing! Look at it! Whoa! Look at it! It's snowing! <laughs> it's so cool! I was freaking out and it was, it was awesome. Anyway, we ended up stopping by all the street food places and now we're back at the New World Mall food court and we're gonna eat them all here. First up, we have the White Bear Hot Oil Wontons and I've heard so many great things about this place. I've had it on my list for many years, but this is my first time trying it. Look at that chili oil. I guess what makes this place unique is they put these like pickled greens on it. Usually on hot oil wontons, you don't see that. Wow, the flavor is so interesting. The pickled greens adds like acidity to it. I feel like it tastes different from like normal like chili oil wonton. I don't know how I feel about it. Ryan <laughs> is gonna taste test for us. It's like a grounded flavor to it. Earthier, like, I don't know. I think it's worth trying because it is unique, but I think not everyone will like it. I think it's good, just not amazing so this place they have these like buns and actually my friend brandon recommended this place to me and he said that they have a like black pepper bun similar ish to the one that they serve in taiwan at the night markets so as soon as he said that i knew we had to go because that is literally one of my favorite foods to eat in taiwan ever so this one definitely looks different it looks so flaky actually and this part is very soft and then the bottom is super crispy Mm, mm. Okay, I think it's really good. I wouldn't say it's the same as the Taiwan street market. It's a bit of a similar concept, but it's not gonna be the same. The one in Taiwan is black pepper pork, and this one's black pepper beef. So it makes it taste like the Asian dish, black pepper steak cubes or black pepper beef. It tastes very similar to that. It's super peppery, super flavorful. It's juicy inside. I really, really like the crunch on the bottom. The outside is nice and flaky. Look how juicy that is. Oh my God. This is really good. I would get this again for sure. So next up we have Joe steam rice roll and the pepper bun place is actually right next to Joe steam rice roll. Like it's literally the stall right next to it. So you can't miss it. And if you're gonna go to Joe steam rice roll, you might as well just pick one of those things up because they're so good. Basically Joe steam rice roll is really known for their like churn fun, the rice rolls that you get at dim sum, but they have a lot of different filling. Cause usually the ones at dim sum, you just get like beef rice roll or shrimp rice roll. But the Joe's rice roll, you can get like egg. You can get a lot of different vegetables in it. This one that we got is the Joe's signature and it has beef, pork, egg, dried shrimp, sausage, scallions, cilantro, and corn. It comes with a sauce. I think it's kind of like a soy sauce, so we're gonna go ahead and pour it on. Ooh. Mm. Their rice rolls are so silky and smooth. You can definitely get all the different textures of the filling, like the corn has a little crunch, and then it also has a lot of meat in here. Definitely like probably the best churn fun I've ever had. Really? Yeah, it's just like the, the texture, it's like so soft and like luscious. Next up, we have these Peking duck buns from Shanghai Yu Garden, and these things are only $2. $2 for Peking duck buns. They actually used to be like a dollar, dollar twenty-five or something, and they recently raised the price, but I still think $2 is a great deal. Inside you have your classic sauce with the scallions, the Peking duck, a little cabbage. Mm. There's actually something in here that's like quite crunchy. I think it's cucumber. That's interesting. The bun is very soft and pillowy. Really like the Peking duck in there. Definitely get one of these when you're in Flushing because it's a staple. So last but not least, on our Flushing street food tour, we got a Jin Bing. And it's from this stall called Follow Soshi. It was a little bit hard to find, but if you look for the corner 28 sign, it's in that same building. They said their most popular Jin Bing is the Peking Duck Jin Bing. So we went ahead and got that. This is basically a popular street food in China. It's a savory egg crepe. They make a crepe and they put some egg on it, add some scallions, and they usually fill it with this really crispy cracker type thing. Also some sauces and stuff, depending on what you want to fill it with, you can get different variations. 
Mm. Really like that crunch. The crepe is very soft, and so it contrasts really well with the crunchiness of that cracker. I actually really like this crepe. It has like a little bit of a chew to it. The picking duck is also really good. This is a great street snack. I got this egg from this tiger's mouth. We're gonna drink it. Before we continue, I just wanna take a quick moment to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, Bright Sellers. Some of you guys might be able to tell, I'm not a huge drinker. Usually my drink of choice is boba, but Bright Cellars has definitely changed my opinion about wines because they literally hand pick wines from all around the world to my personal taste. All you have to do is take an easy seven question quiz, which has fun questions like, what's your favorite chocolate? How do you like to drink your tea? And then boom, they deliver delicious wines based on your taste straight to your door. By the way, this packaging is completely recyclable, plastic free, and has the smallest carbon footprint in the industry. So these wines are not just the typical kind of wines you can find at the grocery store. These are unique hidden gems from small vineyards. So you'll be able to try wines that you never tasted before. They come with these wine education cards that tell you all about the wines that they picked for you. So for example, this one is called Forever Fleeting. It has notes of lemon, grapefruit, green pear, and it even tells you what kind of food you should pair it with. This one is called the Dreamlit. It's a sweet white bursting with aromas of tropical Colichi, ripe peach, and bracing lime zest. And this one is a light bodied white with notes of lemon zest, lime, orange, and green pear. Of course, I got you guys a great deal. So go to brightsellers.com slash feedmeimei to get 50% off your first six bottle box, including shipping for only $55. Thank you, Bright Sellers, for sponsoring. Thank you guys for checking out the sponsors because it really helps me keep this channel going. And let's get back to the video. I can't feel farther away. Today, we are at Time Out Market in Dumbo, and this place is super great. They have like a lot of different restaurants, really popular ones too. Like they have Essa Bagel, which is one of my favorite places in New York. Like every time I come to New York, I have to get Essa Bagel. So I'm glad they have one here. They also have a Jacob's Pickles, which has been on my list forever, and I've not been able to try it. So today we're gonna try it. And then we also have some pizza from Fornino. So this is my favorite thing at Essa Bagel. It's called Signature Favorite. So I guess it's a lot of people's favorite. Inside we have some lox, scallion cream cheese, lettuce, tomato, onions, capers, and I got it on an everything bagel as well. Mm. The bagel has a really nice chew. I really like the crust on the outside and it pairs perfectly with the cream cheese and lox. And I also always have to have red onions in my lox bagels. It's like literally the best thing. So good. Next up, we have this hot honey fried chicken sandwich from Jacob's Pickles. And they really load on the pickles. Like, I can see why they're called Jacob's Pickles. Oh, oh my gosh. This thing is so thick. Here we have a bite with some of that chicken, a lot of pickles. Wow, the chicken is actually really juicy. You can definitely get the flavor of the hot honey. It has a kick to it actually. And I really like it. I really like that nice kick. The pickles taste super fresh. They're really crunchy. They have a nice acidity to it. It's really, really good. All right, last but not least, we have this pizza from Fornino. The crust looks nice and bubbly. Well, I really like the crust. It has such a nice chew. A solid pizza for sure. No, wow, everything we ordered is so good. What do you guys think? Let's get a review. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cup of DJ. My name is Ryan, and we're gonna talk about... Um, chicken. 
Are you using your corn as a mic? The acidity of the pickles is really complimentary to the chicken. You know, it really cuts into it. It really brings out like the the savoriness, the umaminess of the chicken. It's just really mm -hmm. satisfying. Wow, I love that. I love that review. Right? Thank you, TJ. Really Thank you. I appreciate really it. The chicken is absolutely juicy. So juicy. When you bite into it, you're like, this is some thick, delicious, crispy chicken. It's just amazing. Also very satisfying. I love all those adjectives, TJ. That's honestly such a great review. No. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And so, back to you. Back to you, Elisa. <laughs> Signing off. So we are at Milk and Cream Cereal Bar. I tried it for the first time in like 2017, and every time I come to New York, I always have to stop by. So what's really cool about this place is that you can pick an ice cream base, and then you can choose something to mix into it and have this like machine that looks like a drill, and it like gets it all up in there, you know? My go-to order is the vanilla ice cream base swirled in with Lucky Charms. And then I wanted to get strawberries, but they were out, so I got these little Teddy Grahams. Are they so cute? Mmm. Mm. You can definitely taste the Lucky Charms flavor. They should have Lucky Charms marshmallows as a topping. That would make this, like, honestly, so much better. Mmm. They have almost any cereal you can think of, so if you're a cereal person, I think you would really like this. Mmm. We are at Taiwan Bear House in Chinatown and I'm so excited because I haven't had Taiwanese food in forever. Here we have the minced pork rice, also known as Lu Ro Fan, one of my absolute favorites. Mm. Mm. I missed eating this dish. This one is actually more lean. Like some of the ones in Taiwan are like really, really fatty. Definitely solid and you get a good amount of that minced pork. Mm. Mm. And then we have the golden crust pork chop, which is deep fried. It has an egg, some veggies, and rice under. These are like the little bentos. So let's try a piece of this pork chop. Mmm. Definitely has like a nice little crisp. And you can taste like the five spice. Mmm. Mm. And then also, of course, we got some Taiwanese sausage. The sausage is a little bit sweet, a little bit savory, has like a nice bite to it. It's definitely like a denser sausage. Like it's not the kind that you like bite in and it snaps and then it's like the juice comes out. You know what I mean? Mm. So we are at Shuzhou Fuzhou. Here we have the wheat noodles with peanut sauce and this whole thing is only $2.75. Can you believe that? It's so cheap. Look at these peanut noodles. Oh my goodness. Wow, noodles are nice and silky and smooth, has a nice chew to it, so peanuty. Especially for the price, you cannot beat this. We also have to always get the dumplings. This is the pork and chow dumplings. It comes with 10 pieces for $4. Such a good deal. We got some soy sauce here and some chili oil. Just gonna quickly dip it. They're actually closing in like five minutes, so I'm trying to eat this really quickly. Mmm. Mm. Wow, so good. It's a lot of, lot of chives. So you really get a lot of the chive flavor. The pork is so meaty and juicy. The skin is so thin too. It's like translucent. You can see the filling through the skin. Mm. Okay, so we are at Smooth. This is a very weird angle, but there's really like no space in here. I was so excited, look at this. It's a ube milk tea and it's a boba float. So it actually has ice cream and it's ube ice cream. You guys know how much I love ube. And then I think there's some kind of ube sauce on top as well. It has boba, it has whipped cream. So let's mix it up. So the boba, the texture is definitely on the hard side. It's like hard-ish, but it's also like kind of mushy on the outside. The drink itself definitely has an ube flavor. I'm not getting any cheese flavor. It kind of just tastes like ube milk. I can't even get it out. I feel like this is how you can tell the boba was not cooked properly. Would not get this again. Would not recommend.
Okay, so we are at Mama's 2, and I've heard really good things about their pizza. We have four slices here, the vodka, the fungi, the nona, and the pepperoni square. I love it when the pepperoni's like little cups, and then there's like pools of oil in them. Delicious. Mmm, the bottom, it's so, so crispy, and the crust is like kind of fluffy. It has a nice chew to it, and the cheesiness and the pepperoni just adds the right amount of like saltiness to it. Mmm. Mm. Let's try the vodka slice. Wow, it's so flavorful. The sauce has a nice like tomatoiness to it, but it's still creamy. And the ricotta cheese, so, so creamy. Oh my gosh. Mm. Wow, it's really good. So we just went to Surreal Creamery and look at this thing. It's literally bigger than my head. We got the taro and matcha ice cream swirl and on the bottom is taro milk tea with boba. Oh, oh no, it's starting to drip already. Uh oh, big disaster. <laughs> Whoa, it's so creamy. Like not a crystal of iciness. You can definitely get the taste of the taro and the matcha. The matcha is stronger than the taro, but still really good. Wow, I'm really impressed with their soft serve actually. Now let's try the boba on the bottom. It's pretty like soft and chewy actually. It's not hard. This is way better than the place we went yesterday. I will say though, the drink part is so-so. The boba texture, surprisingly good. Soft serve, really, really good. No, no, no. I like the panna cotta at the bottom. Much is okay, but it gets the job done. And the bottle starts you. We're at Scar's Pizza. We waited like an hour for this, but this looks huge. It has a nice fold. And look at that crust. It's so thin. Mmm. Wow. It's good. I really like the crust. A little bit crispy on the bottom. Cheese is nicely evenly spread. I actually really like it. Solid. Now we are at Sweet Moment. I usually like to come here for the really cute lattes. They actually don't just look cute, but they also taste really good. So I'm pretty sad that they don't have it right now. But we went ahead and got their bingsu, which I've never tried here before. So we're gonna have a new experience together. So this one is the mango cheesecake bingsu, and this one is the matcha cheesecake bingsu. Mmm, the cheesecake bites are so nice. It reminds me of like the cheesecake bites that you put on your like froyo. The mangoes, I mean, it's not really mango season right now. So they're a little bit on the crunchy side. In the middle, there's I think maybe like cornflakes, like little crunchy cereal in there. The bingsu texture is nice and like flaky, very snow-like. Mm. Let's try the matcha one. It has red bean layered in between. Oh wow, the matcha flavor is so strong. It's really nice too, cause it's like not bitter. A good amount of sweetness and then the red bean also adds sweetness to it too. We also stopped by Ali Mama earlier, but they didn't have anywhere to sit. So this is the lychee rose. Look how pretty it is. Give it a good swirl. Lychee flavor is pretty mild. Actually, overall flavor is pretty mild. Tastes kind of watered down. We have the boba milk tea cream puff. I'm very, very excited. Whoa, look at the boba inside. They're so small, it's like mini boba. Mmm. The cream is so like light and fluffy. I actually don't think the milk tea flavor is super strong. It's just like very subtle. I also like the cream puff texture too. It has a little crisp on the outside, kind of flaky on the inside. I'm definitely wishing there was more milk tea flavor. We also got a mochi donut. This is the brulee. So I think it has like torch sugar on top. Can you hear that? A little like crispy. All right, let's see if we get like a stretchy mochi pull kind of thing. Oh, whoa. Mm. There definitely is a crisp from the torch sugar. And then the inside, very chewy, very mochi-like. Wouldn't say it's the best mochi donut I've ever had, but yeah, it's okay. And last but not least, we got these taro munchkins. They're basically like mochi donut balls. 
Mmm. You can see that stretchy texture in the middle. I actually like these better than the mochi donut. I feel like because the texture on the outside, like the other one, the fried part got kind of soggy, but this one, it's like more there, like more intact. I think these would actually be really good if they were fresh. Like if they were warm and fresh, I think this would be really, really good. I also like the charo flavor too. You guys, I finally got my Xi'an Famous Foods. It's one of my favorite places that I always have to go to. Unfortunately, they did not have the spicy cumin lamb noodles, which is what I always get. So today I'm actually trying something new. Well, it's not new on the menu, but it's new for me. So this one is the spicy and tingly beef noodles. You can see that they coat the noodles really well with all those spices. Not a centimeter of noodle is not covered in spice. Mm. I have hiccups because it's spicy. Do you guys ever get hiccups when you eat spicy food? Because sometimes I do. And it's not even because I can't handle spicy, it's just like a reflex or something. I really, really like it. Noodle texture is on point. Look how thick this is. So flavorful. Actually quite spicy. I got the regular spicy. I gotta say though that the spicy human lamb is still my favorite. If there's no spicy human lamb, I would get this again. So that's it for our full week of eating in New York. Let me know in the comments, what was your favorite food from the whole video? I definitely wanna know. And yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload. Give this video a thumbs up. And here's today's comment shout out. Thank you so much for your support. And if you wanna be in the next video's comment shout out, make sure you comment something down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Okay, so now we are at this place called Shu Jiao Fuzhou. Wait, what's the pronunciation? Shu Jiao Fuzhou. I don't know, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Look at this big. Oh! <coughs>